All right, welcome aboard everybody to Art Appreciation for Children lesson number five. Oh, wow. Gotten five of them through. We're almost through number five. Well, we're going to start number five. And I've got another artwork for you today. Um, and I think you're going to enjoy this artwork. Um, but you know how I like to begin. If you've done this before, you know sometimes I like, to, well, I guess almost always, I like to begin with a little personal story. So may I share a quick personal story? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this involves, oh, Odin, I'm so sorry, you can't hear me. Maybe your mom or your dad can help you. So this little personal story involves me when I'm, when I'm a kid. I could tell you, though, that it might involve me as an adult, too, but it will focus on me as a kid. And I'm, mm, I'd say I'm about seven years old. And my mom and my dad asked me to do certain things, like chores around the house or personal cleanliness. Like one thing they asked me to do pretty frequently is to clean my room, is to clean my room. And clean my room is a difficult task. Oh, let's see, Odin's still having trouble. I'm sorry, Odin. And it's not a task that I really enjoy much. And let's see, Odin, I'm sorry you're having trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and mute you, Odin, I'm sorry. See if you can ask your parents. I'm gonna make write you one more note, Odin, to see if you can ask your parents real quick. Then I gotta go on. All right. So you guys probably have to help with cleaning the room or some kind of tasks. Now, what would often happen is I would be left in my room to you know clean my room to get things. Oh, in ship shape, but then suddenly I'd get pretty bored doing it. And there would be something that would attract my attention. And let's see, oh, Odin, you're unmuted. So I'm gonna mute you actually. Yeah, for the moment, Odin, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, it's become a little bit of distraction. Okay, all right, so, oh, Please hold in, just keep yourself muted. Thank you, thank you. So there would be something that would attract my attention. And the thing that would attract my attention would not be clean my room. It would be something else. The thing that would attract my attention would be this. My pile of Legos. And sometimes when my mom or my dad would might check in on me, instead of cleaning my room, I'd be doing something that I was much more interested in doing. Building something with my Legos. And maybe you have something like that. Maybe you don't particularly like Legos, but maybe there's occasionally something that uh, you enjoy doing more than other things. So that's a little story. And then I see, um, yeah, if you're just coming on, Benjamin, go ahead and I'm going to turn your video off. We're going to keep our videos off while we come on. We're going to keep our videos off and keep ourselves muted. So here's the artwork. And you know what I like to do with the artwork right at the beginning? I'm going to show it to you very briefly. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to give it your own title. Give it your own title. Pretend you're the artist and you're seeing this artwork and you've just made it and you're going to give it a name. And I'm gonna ask you to type this title in the chat. Here it is. That's it, I'm gonna show you very briefly and put a title for that, just the first words that come to mind. What did you see? The book read, midnight read, reading, reading the book. Perfect. I'm not doing anything. The reader, girl sitting, little girl reading, the reader, girl reading, the girl, book girl. Lena and her story. Uh, the best book, her favorite book. Okay, these are great. The bookworm, the reading story. I wanna read a book. <laughs> Lost in a book. Uh, I like that one, Owen and Heather. Okay, um, AKA mom. Uh, Katarina, the reader, right? And girl, happy reading, I'm interested. And silent. All right, great. Now let's take a closer look at what's going on in this artwork. So. Tell me just in the chat some details that you see. What are you noticing here? What do you see here? 
I was reading. The lonely girl, maybe she was knitting. She's annoyed, maybe. <laughs> There's another on the table, some plants. She's not looking at the book right now. So Holton, go ahead and put any answers in the chat. We're gonna make sure to use those. We've just got so many students in class, we're up to 34 participants. That it's just gonna make it a lot easier for us to just use the chat. She's sitting by the window. No glass in the window. Oh, nice breeze then. The bird behind her. She looks mischievous. <laughs> Some plants. There's a light on the book. Oh, yeah. And she's sitting by the window. Maybe mischievous. Yeah. The plants are detailed. And maybe she was interrupted while she's reading. Oh, maybe she looks a little guilty. And she's staring at someone. That's interesting, Katarina. She's staring at someone. Oh, don't worry about the spelling, Ethan. Um, let's see, Caden, you thinking she's, oh, maybe there's some knitting going on. She looks like she has a secret. <laughs> maybe she's sneaking a book. Okay, these are great. Oh, the book is very used. The old book, she's glaring up. Wonderful. Now, here's a question I have for you. Does it look like she's interested in this book? I mean, it looks like so. she's not looking at it right now, but does it look like she's interested in it? Now, if you're at home right now and you're sitting down and you have a big book with you, one thing I might suggest is taking that big book, look, I've got a big book with me right here, and then holding it like she does. And if I hold it like she does, I feel like I'm almost hugging this book. I'm wondering if she is kind of interested the way she's sitting. So here's, a, here's something that we can try to figure out. Oh, let me... Can you think of, mm, let's see, three clues. Three clues that show that she's kind of interested. You think, you think she might be saying something like, don't take my book? She's cross-legged. Three clues. Now, oh, she's got a little bit of a smile. Maybe she's happy. Maybe Mira because she's not doing her knitting. And Quinn, that's interesting. You're noticing she's halfway through this book already. Wow, it's a huge book. It's not, you know, most books I have are pretty tiny. They're, they're this big, but she went for this big book. So she's smiling. She's halfway through. Those are two clues. Oh, what did I say? She's hugging it. <laughs> she's not happy to intruder. And you know what? Maybe also another clue. She's got herself a perfect reading spot, doesn't she? Look at the light that shines directly on the book. And then she could prop her elbow up on that table so that she can hold the book. So she's got this sitting spot, this reading spot that's a little nook where she's really comfortable. And maybe she, another clue that she likes it is that she is being interrupted. Right? So here's another question Does she remind you of anyone else who loves to read? You, your dad, us, your sister. Ooh, Hypatia. Oh, I think I know Hypatia. Isn't she um, a historical figure from ancient Greece? Maybe Alexandria? Oh, yeah. <laughs> your mom. Um, you know, when I was thinking about this, when I asked myself the question, I thought to myself, yeah, I kind of like to read. But there's a character from, from Harry Potter I know who loves to read. Maybe not Harry, definitely not Ron. But those of you who know Harry Potter, I was thinking of, of Hermione Granger. <laughs> right. Yeah, Dumbledore does too. And Hermione would be somebody who would also might also like to read those huge old worn down books. And Kayla, you're, you like to read, but you're still learning how. Great. And they do look pretty similar, don't they, Violet? <laughs> and Bailey, you've got a, an idea of what might be happening. Her mom wanted to take a picture when she was reading, but she was, has to sit there for hours because they have to paint her. <laughs> um, great. Now, look at this. Maybe some of you have already noticed this. But was she doing something else maybe before she was reading? 
Tristan says knitting. A lot of answers of knitting. So uh, there's something on the table. It looks kind of odd. I think maybe it look, maybe looks like a big egg or a, a gray lemon, but let's get a closer look. Oh, yeah, a ball of yarn. Some thread coming from that ball. Yeah, Henry, you've got the Ron with the light reading. It looks like she was reading. And yeah, there's maybe she was knitting something there. So here's a comparison image. Yeah, what you have in the top there is somebody who's doing some knitting. And it looks like she was doing something. Does it look like she was doing something? She was, she was knitting something exciting. Yeah, but it did look like a big nut before. <laughs> All right. Maybe an arm sleeve. Oh, maybe it could be a book cover. I'm wondering if it's some kind of sock. <laughs> but like a, a very gray washed out sock. It doesn't look very exciting. Now, let me ask you this. Why do you think she stopped sewing? Because she was bored with knitting that thing and she wanted to read. <laughs> and no wonder she wanted to read and said, the book's more interesting because she didn't want to do it. <laughs> Maybe she isn't getting interested in getting pricked. Yeah. She'd rather use her fingers for turning pages. All right. That sounds like a plausible idea. May I show you a different artwork? Well, kind of different. There's gonna be some similarity. Here's a different image. Oh, it's kind of similar. It's, it's a girl and it looks like she was doing some knitting here. Hmm. Is she sleeping? I mean, her eyes are kind of closed. <laughs> And it looks like, does her hand, do her fingers look like they're moving? I don't know. Let's get a closer look of her face and see if we can tell if she is asleep. She's sleep knitting. Oh, look at that. Do you see her mouth a little bit parted? Like she might be breathing through her mouth. I don't snore when I'm asleep. I'm doing that for effect. That's not really me. Okay, so Mira and Sylvia, you're thinking knitting is really fun. No, no, no. I want to say a lot of people find knitting fun. And sometimes I've enjoyed doing some knitting. But it looks like she didn't enjoy doing it. In fact, neither of them seem interested in doing any kind of knitting. So both of them got bored with knitting, but they reacted very differently. Hmm. How did the girl in the cap and the blue dress react when she got bored? She fell asleep. And how did the girl, <clears throat> how did the girl, oh, in the, uh, without the cap on react when she got bored with her knitting? She started picking up that huge book and started reading it. Yeah. One of them fell asleep. The other one actually did something. <laughs> now, we're back here. So it looks like we've got a little bit of a story going on. Maybe, we don't know. Maybe she wanted to do some knitting and got bored with it. Maybe, oh, maybe... Um, Maybe her mom asked her to do some knitting and well, that's as far as she got. But at the very least, it looks like she stopped. She brought the book. She said, oh, this is such a beautiful day. There's a breeze outside, there's sunlight. And oh, it's such a perfect spot, not for knitting, but for reading this book. And I'm already halfway through and I wanna finish it. And so she has decided to sit there, ignore her to need, and read her book. And then suddenly, somebody walks in and sees her. 
Yeah, there's a bird. It must be pleasant sound there, Cassie, right? The bird tweeting. Mm -hmm. Great. So let me ask you this question. When have you wanted to do something different than you were doing at the moment? When were you involved with one task and were thinking, you know what? I'd rather be doing this other thing because I'm more interested in that other thing. A lot of times. <laughs> Math. Oh, doing online school, reading, and then you'd rather be doing something else. <laughs> See if you can think of a, something particular. And Quinn cleaning the house and you'd rather be drawing. And Mira and Sylvia in botany class, you'd <laughs> want to be, you want to read Wings of Fire. And Violet and Linnea doing math you want to read. And Aiden, you'd rather be doing yard work than math. <laughs> Simona, you'd buy macing slime or making slime. Yeah. And Benjamin, when you're doing chores, you want to do, you'd rather be doing video games. And Alik, you'd rather be doing, do, you'd rather do origami than homework. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, these are great, excellent. And Kayla, when you played with toys and wanted to play with your brothers. Now there's my example. Sometimes when I was asked to clean my room, I got pretty bored with doing that. And there was something that I was passionate about doing, which was making castles with Legos or making pirate ships with Legos. And so this little knitter would prefer reading books. Me, the room cleaner, would prefer making things with Legos. All right. As she's being interrupted here, what do you think she's saying? Can you imagine a quote that she'd be saying to the person who walks in on her? Mira and Sylvia, you got hee hee, Helen and Carver, uh-oh. Ethan, don't touch my book, go away. Oops, whoops. <laughs> and maybe with a little bit of a humor in there, please get out, get out now or else get out. Look at her expression, she's kind of smiling, kind of mistress miss. Sorry, don't interrupt me. Wait, I'm at a really good part. <laughs> I just got busted. Go away, I'm trying to focus. Get out of my room. <laughs> Don't touch my book. Leave me alone, I want to read. <laughs> Bailey, you're, you're still thinking about her being painted. I don't want to sit here for four hours. Um, I was reading about knitting. <laughs> Leah, that's a great, <laughs> that would be a great made up excuse. I was reading about knitting. <laughs> And Henry, you've got, can I finish a chapter? Okay. Nadine, what? Anything you're thinking, maybe she looks poor. Mm -hmm. All right, those are great. So, here's this painting. Now that we've gone through it together, hmm. If you had to come up with your own title now that we've experienced it and you've gone through and you kind of have an idea of what's going on, what would you call this artwork now? Ethan, you call it poor reader. Oops, the mischievous act, get out. I'm trying to focus, distractions. Well, that's interesting, Bailey. Stop. So what would you call this artwork now? If you're the artist, here I present my painting and I call it, Mischievous girl, distracting books, busted. <laughs> the different ideas of fun, the hiding reader. I don't want to net the book, Lena and her story, the ignoring reader. My time, mm, Katarina, my time. Books over knitting. Stop knitting to read. I hate knitting. Go. 
Knitting Interruptus. <laughs> Sullivan, you're making me think of, uh, of Hermione Granger. Maybe she's casting a spell there. That's clever. The Struggles of the Working Class. <laughs> Don't come in. Sneaky reader. All right, these are great. Uh, do you guys want to see the artist title? And Violet and Lena, The Mischievous Decision. You know, sometimes I like the artist title. Sometimes they're okay. What do you think of this one? It's just okay. Girl reading. <laughs> and the artist's name is Johann Georg Meyer. Johann Georg Meyer. Yeah, that's the title. I kind of like a lot of your titles a lot more, huh? And you know what? Sometimes what artists did, they would let the artwork speak for itself and sometimes they just have a bland title and purpose. Um, I don't, Quinn, you're asking if he's famous. I don't think he's particularly famous, but I think he did a lot of paintings that are like this, that are like fun little scenes, maybe sometimes of children being mischievous. Yeah, if you wanted to, um, to try to find more of his artworks, I think there are a lot of them that you'd probably like. Johann Georg Meyer. Okay, I'm taking a look at some of the other things in the chat. Okay. All right. And Ada and Hypatia, Lena's favorite place to read. Great. All right. So do you like this artwork? Do you like her? Yeah, Ethan, you're looking, you're finding some more clues that maybe she's kind of poor. Maybe this is not one of the cleanest rooms in the house. So a lot of you like, like her and like this. And Serenity, you're calling it girl reading. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe she's got a pillow on her lift. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps it's her bed. Perhaps. I'm wondering, Ethan, if that's a pretty nice piece of fabric there the, um, that on the table. That's pretty nice. I'm wondering if it might be like a side room of the house because it does look kind of dingy. Kayla, I like that. Her passion. All right. So, and minus you're not a big fan of the title. If you'd like to do um, a little bit of a follow-up assignment, I've got a couple suggestions for you. So one possibility is this, a short writing assignment. If you want to create a story for this girl, oops, I've got a typo. Sometimes I can't spell either. If you want to create a story for this girl, what is this book she's reading? Who is the person who interrupted her? What are they going to say to her? Maybe you could expand on what she's doing. Is she, what is she learning in this book? Is she learning about knitting? Is she learning about magic? Maybe she is poor. So every artwork has a story in it and you can add to it and create your own. Now, the next thing that I, uh, I recommend doing, if you'd like to, is to draw yourself doing something you really enjoy doing. And maybe include in that same image something you don't like doing much either. So, you know what I might draw? I might draw me playing with Legos, making a Lego castle. And then all around me, my messy room. Or you know what I would draw right now today? I debated whether or not to do this. But do you know who doesn't like doing dishes very much? And I started doing dishes a little bit earlier. And you know what I started doing instead? I started looking at artworks. I'll get around to the dishes at some point, but right now I'm really, really enjoying looking at art and sharing art with you guys. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn off the recording here. All those of you who are watching on the recording, 
Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. And I'm pausing the recording. Zoom recording. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to mention this. Oh, it's gone. I forgot to mention next week. Next week, for parents, if you're watching, and I'll jot this down real quick, and if anybody wants to take notes on it, we're going to have another one on Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern time. And I'll write it here. Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. And if you're in California or Washington State, that's going to be 12 p.m. Pacific time. That's really tiny. Can I make that bigger? All right. So now I'm pausing the recording. And, oh, I lost my cursor. Come back here, cursor. And I'm pausing the recording.